Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new vlog. This is my second time filming this video because I just went to edit it and realized that all of the content was deleted off my camera and my hard drive somehow. So I think there was an issue when importing the file, but here are the eight books that I read in December. So let's get straight into it and chat about my thoughts. First up, we're going to chat about these two books because they are a part of a series, so I just thought it would be easiest to talk about them together. We have the second and the third book in the Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy. I read the first book late November and then these two books in early December. Overall, I really liked these two much more than the first book. If you aren't familiar, this series follows Evelyn and she makes a deal with the Prince of Heart to stop the wedding of her true love and her sister. And with that, he decides that he wants something in return, which is that he gets to make the choice of her next three kisses. And we also get to know more about Evelyn and her true love and just the progression of her story. I really liked all of the characters in this book and I just felt like it was a really cute but really captivating series. So I gave the second and third books both four stars um, and I would recommend to everyone. I found the first book quite slow, like I said, but the second and third book definitely picked up for me and overall really enjoyed these. Next up, I read Love Redesigned, which is the first book in the Lakefront Billionaire series by Lauren Asher. I have read some of Lauren Asher's other books. I just haven't read the third one in her other Billionaire series, which is The Final Offer, but I do really enjoy Lauren Asher's writing. You follow Julian and Dahlia. Dahlia is a famous interior designer but she has recently gone through a pretty nasty breakup with her boyfriend and she returns to her small town and Julian is a family friend but they were very much frenemies when they were younger and just the dynamic between the two is so fascinating in this book. The only thing that I would say is that I wanted a bit more of Julian coming to terms with his own insecurities and stuff. I wanted a bit more of that in this book, but overall really, really cute, quite spicy. So if you're into spicy romances, this is definitely the book for you. Rated this one 3.75 stars. I would have rated it a little bit higher, but I was kind of put up by the spicy scenes in this book. I just felt like they were quite out of character. They spoke very differently when they had their spicy scenes, which kind of threw me off a little bit. Next up, we read The Roommate Pack by Alison Ashley. I have not heard many people talking about this book and I think more people should. I saw this book in Big W and I just thought it looked like a book that I would enjoy. I was not disappointed. So she is a nurse and he is her roommate and they make a pact that if they turn 40, that they will marry each other if they can't find anybody else. And there's just a lot of banter and dynamic between these two characters. He ends up getting hurt and because she is a emergency nurse she ends up taking care of him which means that she stays in his bedroom to look after him and there's just lots of banter lots of sexual tension between the two characters and I just thoroughly enjoyed this book. Next up we have a book that I borrowed from my sister this is Yours Truly by Abby Jimenzed. I actually really love Abby's writing and all of her stories just captivate me immediately so this story follows Brianna and I believe his name was Jacob. Yes, Brianna and Jacob. And they are both doctors. He recently joins the team and there is a lot of angst amongst the nurses and stuff. And Brianna does not like him in the beginning. And then it's discovered that he has very intense anxiety. And I really loved this about the book that the male protagonist had anxiety because I feel like not a lot of books show that side as well and I really loved how Brianna was really understanding of him and really worked with him and his anxiety throughout the book. I loved this slow burn in this book and it was such a quick and easy read for me. I gave it 4.5 stars. Next up, we're getting into the Christmas reads. So I read all of these just before or just after Christmas. And the first one that we have is A Winter in New York by Josie Silver. I had really high hopes for this book as I have read Josie Silver's other book, One Day in December, and I absolutely loved that book. But this one kind of missed the mark for me. I felt like the characters really fell in love really quickly. I didn't quite understand the plot line of the main protagonist being connected to the male and it kind of like didn't really make sense to me. I can't remember too too much about this book to be honest and I rated it 2.5 stars. Next up we have The Book Club Hotel by Sarah Morgan. This was such a cute read. There is not too much romance in it so if you're looking for a holiday romance book 
This is definitely not one that I would recommend in that category, but it is so wholesome. So we have three friends, Erica, Claudia, and Anna. We're going on their annual book club holiday together, and they end up deciding to go to this inn that is in the snow, and it is so Christmassy. And then we also follow Hattie, who is the owner of this motel as well, and how they their lives end up interconnecting. And it's just so wholesome, so much friendship, so much comparison between the characters where they're looking at each other's lives thinking that they're perfect and I just thought that was so beautiful and just really shows what it's like to be a woman or a young lady either in their 20s or their 30s always comparing themselves to other people and thinking that everyone else has their lives sorted out when they all had their own little things going on and I just really loved that about this book and how everyone was working on themselves but also coming to an understanding of what other people are going through and helping each other as well just such a wholesome wholesome read for me I rated this one four stars next up we have Wreck the Halls by Tessa Bailey this book was very surprising surprising to me as Tessa Bailey is sometimes an author that is a real hit or miss for me but I actually really really enjoyed this book so both of their mother were in a band together when they were younger and they're working together to bring the band back together and it was a very fast-paced read for me and I was very very surprised so I gave this one at 3.75 stars and then last but not least we have Sorcery of Thorns this was a really cute and fun fantasy read for me. I don't fully remember a lot about it. I ended up rating it three stars because I don't fully remember what happened. I remember a library. I remember a love interest. But that's pretty much all I remember from this book really. It is definitely an entry level fantasy romance novel I think. I don't remember too too much so don't quote me too much on this one. I did enjoy it and read it quite fast. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it please make sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up as it really supports my channel and I hope you have an amazing day or night wherever you are in the world and I'll see you very soon in another video.